A ray of sunshine illuminated this cold and grey place. A ray, a ray in the form of a woman. I heard her before I saw her. A voice more beautiful than I had encountered in some time came drifting through the trees. While a lament might have been more suited to our surroundings, she sang a song of joy, of hope, and of family. Her warm smile greeted any that joined her at the campfire, and just for a moment, they were able to forget which realm they inhabited. As quick as she was to make friends, I, I got the feeling that to cross her would be a great mistake. To remain so positive and upbeat in such a place would require a will of iron. Perhaps, perhaps less a ray of sunshine then, but a bolt of lightning brilliant light and great power that could split the world in two. Sources unknown, potentially the writings of Benedict Baker. One of Kate Denson's earliest memories was standing in front of her family, singing a song she would learned that morning at school and watching smiles spread across their faces. Seeing how something as simple as a song could make people so happy, this was the moment that she knew, the moment she knew what she would do with her life. She practiced, she learned guitar as soon as she was big enough to reach over it, and was performing in front of crowds by the time she was eight years old. Her mother did everything she could to fulfill Kate's dreams, taking her all over their home state of Pennsylvania and across the south, and even to Nashville itself. Kate won folk music competitions and talent shows wherever she participated. But for her to win, others had to lose. And this was, this was not in her nature. She only wanted an outlet, a way to touch people's lives, to make them forget the worries of the world and just enjoy themselves, if even just for a moment. With age came a newfound freedom. She bought a battered old Chevy truck and was able to travel around by herself, meeting fans and making new friends wherever she stopped. Hers wasn't a story of rock excess though. Just the road, her guitar and, and maybe even a good bourbon to end the day. From sun-baked festivals to dark and cosy bars, people flocked to her voice and her self-penned songs of friendship, family, love, and of course, home. These sentiments weren't just lip service. She made sure to return home as often as she could to help out in the wider community and entertain the local children with her tales of the world. She saw it as a way of giving back, of supporting others in the same way she had been supported. And it was home where she found most of her inspiration as well. She always loved to take long walks in the woods around her town, exploring off the beaten track, finding a quiet spot to play in and write her songs. She had a favourite location she would turn to time and time again, a natural hollow encircled by trees that looked almost as if it had been blasted out of the rocks a thousand years ago. Here she felt a strong connection to nature and to the earth itself. She let her mind be enveloped by the forest, and it rewarded her with a constant inspiration. She picked up her guitar and played, her fingers dancing across the fretboard. The music she made this time was unlike her usual uplifting tunes. It was much more melancholy, even dark. Still, something compelled her to continue to finish the song. Around her, the leaves vibrated in unison, with the guitar strings and the, the bows of the trees lengthening, coalescing into a living form. Spider-like legs descended from the canopy above, grasping for her. 
regaining her senses, she, she grabbed a rock and tried to beat them back, but their skin was hard as iron and the rock simply, simply bounced off and skittered away. The legs collided like tendrils around her limbs and lifted her towards the darkness overhead. Fog rolled across the clearing, obscuring both Kate and the creature of nightmares that grew her. Fog rolled across the clearing, obscuring both Kate and the creature of nightmares that drew her up towards itself. When the fog cleared, there was no sign of any struggle or of life. Just an acoustic guitar, the scratch playing grade with flowers, as well as the initials KD and late in the mother of peril.